There are many things about New York City that don't go unnoticed. The crowds, funky smells, and the food carts are part of a culture that sets this city apart from every other city in the world. Yet there are parts of New York that aren't as visible, but equally as important. Hidden gems that literally keep the bright light shining. I'm Lindy coming to you from Empower Solar, a family owned residential solar installation company in NYC that's dedicated to building a greener, more sustainable future. Today, I'm taking you on a scavenger hunt through the Big Apple to discover solar panels in the city's most unexpected corners. Stick around to find out where New York City is hiding solar panels in plain sight. And what better way to start our urban hunt for solar panels than with public transportation? Our first stop is the Coney Island Stillwell Avenue subway station in Brooklyn. Since 1920, this elevated station has funneled sun soakers and residents to and from the beachy neighborhood of Coney Island and surrounding areas. In 2005, 85 years after the building was erected, a $282 million renovation was completed on the station, which included 76,000 square feet of, you guessed it, solar panels. Sadly, the state-of-the-art solar panel roof only supplied power to the station for a short period of time. Though expected to last 35 years, Hurricane Sandy had other plans. In 2012, the superstorm knocked out the electrical equipment at the station and the panels went dark. Unfortunately, the city never reconnected them. An hour and 20 minute train ride from Coney Island's failed solar panel roof sits the Javits Center. Located on the west side of Manhattan, the Javits Center spans 850,000 square feet and holds the title of the busiest convention center in the country. But even though the building itself has an expansive footprint, the Javits Center strives to be a model of sustainable practices for the exhibition industry. Not only has the Javits Center reduced their energy consumption by 26% since 2014, they've also installed a 906.3 kilowatt solar panel system. This system ensures that at least 10% of the center's energy is renewable. In addition to the robust solar panel system, the Javits Center is topped with a nearly seven acre green roof to mitigate storm runoff, reduce heat flux into the building, and to provide a sanctuary for the city's wildlife, which surprisingly does exist. There's no doubt that the Javits Center is upholding their promise to set the sustainability standard. Luckily, the city's making up for the disconnected solar panels at the subway station in other ways. In 2021, New York City began partnering with Big Belly to make composting not only accessible to residents, but solar powered. Big Belly is the same maker of the self-contained solar powered trash and recycling bins seen around the city. The company is helping the city realize its goals of managing trash, reducing the amount of organic materials going into landfills, and of course, controlling the rat population. Thanks to a solar powered compactor, the seemingly small bins can actually hold up to 47 gallons of waste, which is 1.7 times greater than a traditional waste bin. Simply use the phone app to find a compost bin near you, check if it's full or available, and compost away. The bright orange bins are located around the city's boroughs and will happily eat up your compostable goods 24-7. Our final stop on the solar tour brings us back to Brooklyn. Here in the Greenpoint neighborhood sits the Greenpoint Library and Environmental Education Center. The building offers an engaging civic space that demonstrates sustainability while shining a light on the environmental history of the region. The inside of the library hosts plenty of eco-friendly design elements as well as books, but the outside takes sustainability to a whole new level. Well, actually three levels. From the ground level to the third floor, the library houses multiple gardens that include native trees and plants, as well as cisterns to capture rainwater for experiments and to nurture their plants. And of course, the library runs on sunshine. Their bifacial solar system captures light directly from the sun and from light reflected off the roof, capturing over 15 kilowatts at once. Over the course of the year, the solar panels produce over 19,000 kilowatts of electricity to power the building. From the beachy neighborhoods of Brooklyn to the bustling streets of Manhattan, New York City boasts solar panels in the most unexpected places. Where should our scavenger hunt take us to next? Let us know in the comments.